As I mentioned at the end of the last video, we can sort of modify Taylor series that we know to get new power series. So here, e to the x over 3, that's not one of our standard power series. But e to the x is. e to the x is equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. So, how can I get a power series for e to the x over 3? Well, if you think about it, this is the same thing, it's just there's an x over 3 in place of the x. So, all I need to do is take this formula right here, this whole summation, and plug an x over 3 in for x there. So, e to the x over 3 is the sum from n equals 0 to infinity. I can say I've got x over 3 to the n over n factorial. And to some extent that's the answer, but we probably should simplify that a little bit. So let's think about this for a second. Let's say I've got the sum from n equals 0 to infinity. x over 3 to the n is the same thing as x to the n over 3 to the n over n factorial. And I can even go ahead and write that as n factorial over 1, just to make it a little easier to see. And now I've got a fraction divided by a fraction, so I can invert and multiply. When I invert over, I'll get x to the n times 1, which is just x to the n. And on the bottom, I'll get 3 to the n times n factorial. And there we go. There's a power series for e to the x over 3. All I had to do was plug that x over 3 in for the x, simplify down what I had. Let's do a couple more here. 4 sine 2x. So we'll start with the power series for sine of x. Sine of x is here. It's the one with where you're only getting the odd powers. So we got the sum from n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n plus 1, over 2n plus 1 factorial. Now I'm doing two things here to it. One, I'm multiplying by 4, and then I'm plugging 2x in in place of x. And that's all. So, 4 sine 2x is going to be 4 times the summation n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n. In place of the x, I'm putting a 2x. Okay, and again, we can simplify this a little bit. So two things here. I'm going to move that 4 inside the summation. And in fact, 4 is 2 squared. And we'll see why that's important in a second. I've got a negative 1 to the n. I've got a 2. Uh, actually, that's a 2 squared, not a 2 to the n. I've got a 2 to the 2n plus 1. I've got an x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial. Now, there's not a lot I can do with this, but there is one thing, and that's the reason I wanted to write that as 2 squared, because now I've got a 2 to a power times a 2 to a power. I can add the powers. So I've got the sum from n equals 0 to infinity. I'll have negative 1 to the n. I'll have 2 to the 2n plus 3, x to the 2n plus 1, 
over 2n plus 1 factorial. And there we go. There's a power series for 4 times the sine of 2x. Easy. One more, though it's basically going to be the same thing. What if I want a Taylor series for the inverse tangent of 3x to the fourth? We go to our commonly used Taylor series. Inverse tangent of x is this one right here. The inverse tangent of x is summation from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n x to the 2n plus 1 over a 2n plus 1, not a factorial. So, if I put in a 3x to the 4th in place of x, the inverse tangent of 3x to the 4th, we've got the sum from n equals 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, we'll have a 3x to the 4th to the 2n plus 1, over 2n plus 1. Okay, negative 1 to the n, there's not much to do with. Just like we've been doing, I can take that power to each part. So I've got a 3 to the 2n plus 1. And what happens when I take x to the 4th to the 2n plus 1? Well, you got a power raised to a power, so you multiply the powers. That gives me x to the 8n plus 4 over 2n plus 1. And there we go. There's our power series. Not really much to this. Once you understand that all we're doing is plugging in for the x, whatever's on the inside here goes in for x there. After that, it's just algebra. It's just a matter of simplifying stuff down. Now, there's other ways we can modify, and we'll kind of start going through them, but that's the basic idea. We're using the power series we know to create power series of other, more complicated things that would honestly be very difficult to figure out just from the derivatives.